guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a virtual tour of the Barbie Deluxe Dream House that I actually, believe it or not, created myself. I am so freaking proud. Anyway, this was originally going to be a speed build video, but for the sake of the fact that this house actually took me five hours to create, imagining, just imagining, no, imagine how long that would have taken to do a video on and like, I did record every little bit that I did, um, but when I went to go render it, it was gonna take like three hours to render and then I had to render it again. So it's just, and I have plans for it today. If I didn't have plans for it, then that's totally fine, but I do. And I figure, you know what, to be honest, nobody's gonna sit through a video that's an hour long. Um, and I figured this is kind of the same thing. And I don't know, I, I just I just wanted to show the damn house, okay? Just to be honest, I'm very impatient. But anyway, um, yeah, this home is, exactly well not exactly it's very similar to the house that I had and it just reminds me of it so much down to the pink walls and this interesting mint blue kind of roof situation we got going on I can literally remember my first Barbie doll back in the sweet era of 1995 my Barbie doll she had dreads, dreads like Bob Marley she had nubs I'm not even joking because my cat like chomped on it and I may have you know bit off a finger or two but <laughs> it was then that I learned hey if you look good when you got dreads in your hair and you ain't got no extremities, you definitely, girl, are a boss in my book. So that Barbie doll has special meaning to me, um, even though I do not have her anymore. But hey, just saying, I definitely have loved Barbie my entire life and I have always wanted to do some sort of um, video on her and on just things from my childhood. So this was perfect. And yes, this is going to be available for download off of or the Sims 4 gallery at, at a Gen 2606, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tour. Obviously, this is the front of the house here. Love the detailing. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, the roof is a little jacked up, but it's okay. Like, I'm not perfect at this, and I'm still very much um, a beginner. But this is just the front, and um, we have, like, the doors here, a little, like, archway. It's not functional. Like, you can't really go out into this little... Um, terrace sort of deal but it looked really 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 nice and then the front windows have a couple little um, flower beds in them uh, we have another terrace here which is beautiful they come off of the bedrooms that are on the inside um, and I love the way this looks because it just it's it's nice to have these little um, areas that you can chill and relax and not to mention the view is absolutely breathtaking from this little terrace I guess you could call it uh, in the back here we have our deck um, a gazebo if you wanted to paint you want to paint there's an easel you want to have some tea <laughs> a couple sangrias a hey, even in gin and tonic I ain't here to judge you girl it's been a long day in paradise I'm sure uh, there's a little archway here to kind of go back off into um, the there's like a creek kind of flowing back here and this is like the oak stead location it's next to this house right here and so there's like tons of things to do. There's benches and fishing and like a little trail you could like jog through. It's it's seriously, it's a, such a beautiful location. And I figured it'd be perfect for a Barbie house like this. Um, we have our little pool area, a gardening um, spot if you like to garden. Uh, and then this is like a little pathway, again, with another bench just kind of going through here. It's lit up with lights too at night. It's quite pretty. Um, and then we have a beautiful, gorgeous, I think this is like a cherry tree but it kind of looks like a willow tree too I don't know but with a bench obviously pink and then a fire pit I don't know just like the fire pit so we put that there um and I think oh yeah definitely we got the AC in this house because Bobby would not be caught dead in 109 degree weather sweating her makeup off she would not no she would not so um and then I put it in a little penguin Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Had to. You know, pink. It works. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like um, at the evening time. We've got nighttime. Everything kind of lights up and looks so damn pretty. This is the backyard. Loves it. The gazebo even lights up on the inside here. And then our little terrace up here also. Um, and this is the morning time and the afternoon okay cool so um 
yeah, lots of lights, lots of stuff like that. It's pretty illuminated on the inside. It's a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and take you in there right now. So when you walk in through these double doors, <laughs> it sounds like double D's. Uh, when you walk in through these double doors, uh, you got a little chair here, just kind of a couple little things. Um, this home is not using any cheats or CC. I personally don't really like cheats in my house because they always end up messing up or the home, or the objects get reset if you don't have move, move objects on. And then they go into your inventory. So it's like you have to redecorate the freaking house yourself. So none of that was used. Um, this is the beautiful kitchen off to the right. Obviously, it's Bobby Bish. So we're going to do lots of pink. It's going to look like Pepto-Bismol Pink Panther all over again. But I love it because it's so cute and detailed and pink. Who doesn't love pink? Over here, we have like a little sitting area with a big old painting, a couple knickknacks, as my mom likes to call it. Um, and then just some of these beautiful uh, little kind of Victorian-esque um, furnishings. Now, the house kind of uh, bounces back and forth between more of a modern look and more of a classic look. So couldn't decide which one I wanted to do. So we pretty much did both. Um, I played with a lot of painting textures here. I kind of kept it very standard throughout. Uh, we have like these kind of like brick sort of dealio going on some tile and then just basic pink wallpaper. And then there's a big grand piano over here. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, before you go up the stairs. Cool beans, bro. Uh, what else should I show you? Okay, so this is the grand uh, the grand finale. No, the grand dining room, and it looks like that. Uh, you can sit quite a few Sims here, I guess. This is pretty sweet. You could fit a whole bunch of Sims in this area, and I think it's such a beautiful, nice size dining room, um, especially if you love to entertain. Now, this doesn't have to be for Barbie. It could be for any girl who just loves pink. I mean, really. Or you could just get the damn thing and put it whatever freaking colors you want. I don't really care, but um, I wanted it to be Barbie themed. So here is the first bathroom bathroom um it looks pretty pretty cool i like this with the little jacuzzi hot tub um more pink and more pink and then this is what it looks like over here we've got some cherry blossoms and some big windows so if you're not a fan of people looking while you drop in a deuce probably want to throw up some curtains i'm just saying just saying uh here is the um living room i have a freaking humongous big screen tv some plantage um a fireplace which is really nice i wanted a fireplace in the house and then back here we have um carrera or faberman <laughs> huh, who knows who that is she's actually on the computer right now chilling like a boss like a villain and um yeah it just looks like that and then i put in this little pink kind of it's actually more of a lilac plum bum so I think that's pretty much it for the downstairs. We have one more spot, and that is the master bedroom here. I did like a walk-in closet scenario. You'd pretty much need to be as big as Jack and the Beanstalk to like get your clothes up there. But it's really cool at night because it illuminates. So you get a lot of like a lot of light coming through there. Here's a big screen, a TV, so when you're in bed, you can relax. I kind of did like a little vanity sort of thing with nail polish. I thought that was cute. And then you have double doors, too, so you could go right out to the pool. You don't have to, like, walk through the house. And then over here um, is some more, like, decorations and then the bed. And then there's, like, a little couch over there. Yeah. So that's pretty much the master bedroom, I guess you could say. So once you go upstairs... Um, you got like this little seating area, some mirrors I played with, um, some random sim. This guy is the creep, dude. He's like the equivalent of KFC's Captain Colonel's sim style. I don't know if that's how you say it, but whatever. Just some more random paintings, a couple of repeats, not gonna lie. These French doors here, um, one of them leads to an empty room. You can do whatever you choose with that. Uh, the paint, you can fix that too, probably <laughs> a little ghetto. But here's another bedroom. Um, I love this one again very pink and dolly and girly uh this is actually supposed to be multicolor. i think it is i don't know if i did it on purpose or not but we're gonna go with it um and then i did a little seating area which i thought was kind of cool we have some more clothes uh big mirror um some vases and then some zapatos and then obviously if you go out this door here <gasps> We, you are on your beautiful terrace with a gorgeous freaking view. Okay, so beautiful. Uh, and then the last thing I have to show you is, okay, two more things. We have a little 
I guess you could put this as a like studio sort of thing, not studio, study room. And then there's obviously a um, treadmill because Bobby likes to keep in shape and it's girly and pink. Ta-da! <laughs> you could have guessed it, right? And then over here is another bathroom. It's very simplistic, um, not too many crazy things in it. And it's just, again, the jacuzzi. This one actually has a stand-up shower. I don't think the one downstairs has a stand-up. No, but this one has a stand-up shower because I personally like when my sims take a shower sometime. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. That's the whole entire house. This area just kind of looks down, and so does this and that over here. So, I mean, there really isn't much else to show you guys. Um, this house is actually going to be used uh, for, if you did not know, I am bringing back the Bermans. I have to change um, Carrera's last name because it's for some reason Vector. But anyway, I am bringing back the Bermans and I will get more detail in that in just a second. But it is going to be, or actually when the LP launches today, it's going to be an LP on Kylie, or er, Carrera and Faye Berman. If you don't know, they are uh, Carly and Muggsy Brolatowski's beautiful children. And a lot's happened. It's actually quite interesting. So if you guys want to see what that's all about, stay tuned. Later on today, we will have our first parts. Maybe I'll do one. Maybe I'll do two. I don't know. But if you guys want to go ahead and download this, go ahead and hop onto the gallery. Um, I literally just uploaded it. And it is right here, the Barbie Deluxe Dream House. Let me see what you guys think so far. Beautiful. Oh my god, for the new LP. Nice. Is it for your new LP? So adorable, beautiful. Oh my god, cute. And I freaking I love you all. So if you want to go ahead and snag that bad boy, it's there. Um, also, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And give me suggestions for future builds. Por favor. All right. Besos y un brazos. Y un brazos. I don't know, girl. I need to brush up on my Spanish. But yeah, hugs and kisses. Love you. And I will talk to you all later, Gator. <laughs> Bye, guys.